Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the long-awaited makeup routine and how I do my foundation, my under eye, my eyeshadow, my lips, everything. So you guys will be seeing that today. This is the final outcome of the makeup. So if you guys wanna see how I got this look and how I get this look every single day, then keep watching. Um, but I also do wanna mention that this video is sponsored by Frankie Rose. I've been working with them for the last three years and I love their foundation, love their makeup. Um, so yeah, if you guys could use my code, um, they sent me a bunch of goodies that we do use in the video, especially the foundation. You guys will hear me rave all about it, but I just want to say thank you to Frankie Rose and trusting me and having you as your influencer and you guys trusting me and wanting to see me even do my makeup is crazy. Um, so yeah, I love you guys and I hope you guys love the video. Okay guys, so let's get into the long awaited makeup tutorial everything that i show you guys that i'm going to be doing is literally exactly how i do it all the time there might be a few things that i'm going to switch up today just because i want to try them but for the most part this is everything that i use um and it's going to be very realistic i did want to talk to you guys while i was like doing my makeup like doing a story time but you guys were like no just give us your full attention bitch because you are too chaotic and i do get distracted very easily so yeah also, I'm breaking out. I don't know who I'm stressing over or I'm not drinking enough water. But yeah, so don't mind that. So realistically, I always have to put my hair up. It doesn't matter what, you know, what it is. And realistically, I do my hair last, but, you know, I have to look cute for the video. Um, My friend says when I do my hair like this, I remind her of Regina George. But anyways, so I already started off by putting my favorite moisturizer. I've been using this for like years now. Um, probably ever since it launched, honestly. But it's bomb. So I do two pumps. And when I put it on my face, I spread it out and down my neck. So you don't get no wrinkles. And then this, I've been using this. This is my holy grail. If I could go to the island with one thing, it's going to be this. But um, I put this on my lips every single time I do my makeup. And then I just started using this. So my friend Maleni, if you're watching this, Maleni, I love you. But she gave me this for my birthday. It's the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40. So I just put this on before my makeup. Um, I just do a little bit though because I don't really like the way it feels. I mean, it's nothing too crazy. But also, I just feel like I don't need too much. So yeah. So I just spread on my fingers and just... Just kind of spread it where it needs to be spread. Um, so yeah. So for brushes, these brushes, I've had them for a while. Um, it's a mix of ColourPop and, oh, they're disgusting. But they're clean, I swear. Um, well, some of them are clean. But it's a mix of ColourPop and Frankie Rose. Brush. Okay, so for my eyebrows, I'm going to be using the Frankie Rose um, our little secret concealer. This is in the color Ginger. Um, they just sent me a new one. So this one is fresh out the box. Um, and then I'm going to take my little brush. I'm just going to dab it on a little bit. Also, I do want to keep in mind that I do have my eyebrows. Um, it's called Ombre Powder. I do need to get them a little bit darker because as you can see, they're kind of fading right there. But for the most part, I just kind of line them up and then I do go in with the shadow just on the tails of them now because they are fading. But I mean, I feel like lining them up is pretty self-explanatory. But so for the bottom one, I just kind of go like right underneath it. I don't know if you guys can see it. I just go right underneath it and I try to get it like so tapered as much as possible. And I just honestly just follow that line that you know that kelly eyebrows gave me um so yeah so that's pretty much it i mean it is what it is and then i will go in with the concealer and just put it all over my eye and then pat it out this is honestly so easy the way i do my makeup I don't know if I do my makeup so much that I've gotten so fast at it, but I feel like my makeup routine is a pretty fast process. So yeah, I don't know why every time I film there's always a fly. Like there's never a fly in my room any other Friday, 
but today there's a fly mirror. So for the top of my eyebrows, um, I get the Frankie Rose foundation. I'm gonna hype this up and talk about it later because I've been hyping this up for years, but I don't think you guys understand how fire this is. But we'll get back to that. So I just put the slightest bit and then I sorry, I want to make sure you guys you guys can see. I just kind of go up high, like really high, and then I bring it down low. I just like to do the foundation color on top because then it blends with the actual foundation. It doesn't look super light because the concealer is a little bit lighter. Not by too much, but it just kind of makes life easier. So I don't know if you guys can see. Bam. So then I'll just kind of blend this out. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but you know, it's just the things that make me a little bit happier when doing it. So yeah, this is the difference. And then I will go in with a smaller brush. This is the ColourPop 826. And I'll tap some of this and just go on that little tail. And just kind of mess with it. Make it look like it's not fading. So before, or wait. Before, after. So I'm going to do this eyebrow and I will be right back. Okay, so the eyebrows are all done and concealer is now on the lids. That's kind of like what I use as my primer base or whatever you want to call it. Um, so if you've seen my last video on how I do my makeup, the way I do my eyes is very different now. Um, I started doing a little smoky thing to it. I change up the way I do it, but for the most part, it's pretty smoky most of the time. And I use a combination of the Makeup by Mario palette. She's ran through a little bit of the Frankie Rose palette just because I really, as you can see, I don't usually do stuff like this. So, um, so I'm going to be also be using the Frankie Rose palette. I like this little pearly color. So I think I'm going to be using that today. There's probably a better way to do putting tape on your eyes, but this is what I use. Um, so I've just been getting straight edges and lining it up to the end of my eyebrow. Um, yeah, this looks actually really crazy. I hope none of my boyfriends watch this because they're going to be like, what the heck? So, yeah, it's, um, what the heck? It's a little uncomfortable, but hey, I don't have to do this. This is what I look like. We're going to be real about it. So, I'm going to be taking these three shades. I don't even know what they're called. They're all by number, but just these, um just to kind of put all over the lid um, so that it's not too creamy and just kind of tone it down a little bit. And if you guys have seen my makeup tutorials, when it comes to the eyeshadow, I just literally spread everything everywhere. Like it'll be fine. It's gonna get all mixed together anyways, so. Okay, gorgeous, beautiful. Um, Oh, also, this is the Frankie Rose Shade 61 brush. They just sent me this one. Oh, my God. I got a phone call, but just taking these two colors and just literally just going back and forth like this. Like, it'll be fine. Okay, so once you get those two um, blended, this is what it should look like. You're going to go with that same brush and you're going to take like this darker shade all the way over here. I'm sorry. I don't know the color names. And you're just going to take it like right here where the tape is at and just buff it out just around like this little area. I don't know what it's called, but I'm calling it this little area. Yeah. Cute. Cute, 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 cute. Perfect, perfect. Ow. Okay, so we're actually going to cut the crease too. It's something I've been doing lately. I actually really like it. Meg, Makeup by Meg put me on she's one of my favorite makeup artists in arizona if you haven't checked her out she does fire makeup but um so we're just gonna be doing that and i'm gonna be doing it with the boing benefit concealer this is one of my favorite concealers um and you're just gonna tap it you're gonna take that same little 
brush that we used for the eyebrows. Oh my god, this is actually hurting now. Um, and so when Meg did it, since I guess I don't know what kind of eyes I have, I feel like I have hooded eyes. I'm just gonna like take it over and watch you guys will see. Oh my god, wait, I put a lot. So it should look like this. It looks literally psychotic. And I take the tip of the beauty blender and I just pat it in so it's not like wet. Yeah, cute. I like it. Cute, cute, cute. I had to kill the fly that was in here because it was literally driving me insane. So I'm pretty sure I got him, but oh my girl, he can still be in here. Um, so then I'm gonna take, so let's go back. I'm gonna take the frame the makeup by mario and i'm gonna take these two shades and i'm just gonna tap this in just a little bit of it um just like that just to kind of like tone it down a little bit cute and then i'm actually gonna take this frankie rose color because i actually really do like the way it looks um this little like pearly white um just to add some like shimmer to it i'm just gonna pat that in cute up close it looks like shimmery so cute and then we're gonna go back in with this color and just kind of get kind of close to this and just kind of not make it look too hot. so then sometimes i'll leave it like this but other times I get this Makeup by Mario little gel liner and I will put it like starting to the midpoint to here. Just a little sliver of it. I'll put some. Um, and then on the bottom, this is such a like genius thing. It has like a brush. Oh my god, it's dirty. But then you just buff it up. Okay, so now that I have that kind of blended out, I'm going to take this black and this little tiny brush. Now I'm just going to take a little bit and I'm just going to pat it in on the edges of the liner. So then it should look a little something like this. Let me take off the tape. Oh, it should look a little bit like, like that. And then I'm just going to take some mascara. Um, I feel like you use any mascara. Mascara is just mascara. But I've been using this one by e.l.f. And I literally bought it just because I thought it looked cute. But it's pretty decent. Um, and then, period. So pretty. So it should look like that. Um, I'm going to do this eye. And then I'll be right back. Okay, so the next thing I do is I put on my lashes. Um, I don't save them for last. I usually put them on after i'm done with all my nails my nail stuff my eye stuff so um these are the jazz lashes this is from my brand pretty girl glam these are my favorite lashes right now they're from my birthday collection super cute um but i'm just gonna pop them on so i can show you guys how i put them on and these tweezer tweezers are actually from my shop as well so i usually put my eye out like this so i can see what's going on and then I just apply them and I take the end of this and I just kind of tuck it on there and this is what it looks like it was like the perfect lash I swear oh my god I love these lashes so much do not talk to me these are fire y'all see that fly so this is what it looks like with the lashes so we're gonna get into the skin my favorite part to the skin this is the best foundation i swear on everything that i love that i've ever used in my whole life i used to like 
go back and forth with foundations but this foundation is honestly life-changing i've been using it for the last like three years maybe going on four years now um and i get it in the sh shade oatmeal blend it's just perfect and i have super dry skin and it's a mattifying foundation and it works for me so let me show you guys and please 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 use my code when purchasing um and i put it on i tap it on with this frankie rose foundation brush but the good thing about this foundation too is that if you're kind of already using a foundation or have used foundations and it's your shade then frankie rose will compare that shade that you've used let's say in maybelline and they'll compare that shade to the shade that they have similar to it that you would be in the frankie rose foundation so i think that's the coolest thing just because you can only get frankie rose online it's super exclusive it's not something that everybody's just using that you can just get your hands off it's very exclusive because it's that good um so yeah usually what works best for me is i tap in the foundation and then i put a little on the brush and i just go around the whole face so i'll just have you guys watch me do the rest of my face But yeah, so this foundation is literally just like a filter in real life. I love this foundation. Um, so I can really say it's bomb. Like if you know, you know, then you know. If you don't, then girl, you need to go use my code and buy it. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to try it out, please, please use my code. It helps me so much. But this is like everything I'm telling you. Just, just try it once and I swear you'll fall in love with it. Okay, so... Another like game changer for me was a puff bar. If you don't use puff bars now, you're missing out. This makes your makeup look so flawless. And I also use like a shit ton of powder now. This is like gone. But this is the Maybelline Fit Me in 310. And so I just take some of this all over the puff bar and I just tap it all into my skin. And for the girls that know, no, like, I don't know what it's giving, but it's giving. Like this stuff is just, ugh, together. This combo I made up, so good. And you wanna make sure you tap everything in. You never wanna drag anything out. And make sure you get your nose so it's not like oily, you know? So that's what it looks like. It looks like even prettier now. Like just gets better i don't know how it got better but it just got better so we're gonna move on to the highly 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 anticipated under eye this is something that you guys have been requesting like every single day in my dms how do you get your bright under eye how do you get your bright under eye i would just like to say that i came up with this combo it is the jazz combo i need you guys to say it's the jazz combo um but yeah i'm about to reveal my my bright under eye secret so Let's get into it. I know y'all are ready. I know y'all are so ready. Okay, so for the bright under eye combo, my makeup artist friend Joanne in Miami actually put me on to this concealer. Um, and I accidentally bought this shade, a shade like too light, but it's perfect. So it is the Boing Benefit Concealer. This is the best concealer for the under eye. Um, it's in the shade number three. So this is the first step. And you have to do it like this or else it's not going to come out this way. So you go chin first. Just a little bit. Beauty blender. Right? Just everywhere. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. And then next, you want to go under eye here. All the way to here. Take this side and just fan it out all the way to the top. And you're gonna take that dry beauty blender and just work that in, sis. Work it in. You're gonna have to pat your under eye and you're gonna be probably bruised, but it's just, you're gonna get the best result this way. And it looks crazy like this now, but I swear it's gonna come together. Also benefit if you're watching this, please work with me because the girlies are gonna go sell this out, I already know it. 
that's what it looks like, right? And then this Miss Nikita Dragon, if you ever want to send me anything, please feel free because this is what I use next. And I use another little puff bar. So I go one, two, three, one, two, three. And I, I should probably start here. I'll start here actually. And I just go in like this and work it until, you know, that's the way I like it. I'm not really concerned about any of this right here because it'll all come together. But it looks crazy right now, but it's all about just kind of blending it and then if it looks a little too crazy you can go back with this one and then just kind of yeah let me do the other eye watch so this is the bright under eye it does look crazy when I just do it like this but in the end it comes all together also I did have somebody telling me like how are you gonna put cream over powder but like girl it just works for me and it looks bomb but this is what it looks like up close um so let's start doing bronzer so everything will kind of come together but for the most part that's like the combo and secret that you guys have been asking for that i do every single day um so yeah okay so now for bronzer i just started using the fenty one this is in island ting and i actually really like it so i'm going to take this frankie rose brush this is in the powder bronzer 80 brush and i just the same thing with this like i honestly just tap it in i tap in for the most part all of my makeup um so then i'll get here and i'll kind of lift this up mm. and i'll just tap it in that's what it looks like and then i usually switch up my blush depending on the day so I have these two from Colourpop this is Kit Sitch and Retro um, they're completely different like one's darker than the other but I'm just gonna mix them and when it comes to my blush I like to go all the way up here like I like to go pretty high and I like to go pretty low down here I like it pretty I like it pretty defined I like so that you can kind of like tell I'm wearing blush and I also put a little bit on my nose just like that just makes it look it super like doll like let me show you guys up close fire 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 okay and I'm gonna try this new thing today. I've never tried it, but I've seen some girl have blush on and it was like shimmery and Maleni got me this from Fenty. It's called Rose Rave. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of that and just, ooh, looks kind of pretty. You guys have never seen my scar. That's what my scar looks like. But just, yeah, cute. I actually kind of really like that. Oh my god, you guys can't see it how I'm... Yeah, you can. That's actually really pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna start doing that. I'm gonna start doing that. Um, and then I'm also just gonna take a little bit of shadow, smudge it out on the bottom of my eyes, put some mascara, and then we'll come back and do the lip. Okay, so I added on the bottom. Um, but also I just wanted to say, um, sometimes I take this Maven liquid liner and whenever I have a pimple or guys, I'm so sad I didn't even film myself lining my lips, but pretty much what I do, I use this KKW liner. I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out of it and KKW is like completely revamping their stuff right now. So I don't know when I'm going to get another one of these, but I take this, I overline it, Meg by makeup or makeup by Meg showed me how to overline my lips. Well, she didn't show me, but she always does it like that. So, I really like the way she does it. So, I started doing it like that. And I usually around this. But I'm going to be using a new lipstick today from Frankie Rose. So, let me find it really quick. This is the new lipstick. It's called Natural Beauty. And I'm just going to tap that in. Or actually, 
Ooh, this is fire. Cute. And then we're just gonna put some lip gloss. This is Morphe Chill. I love Morphe lip glosses. Uh, just to really set it. And then, once you're all done, you're gonna just, one last time, baby. And that's how I do my makeup. It actually came out really fire today. Let me see. Yeah, fix my hair a little bit, put on a cute top, and we'll come back and talk about the makeup. So yeah, guys, that is how I do my makeup. It has been very long awaited, but this is the finished products of how I do my makeup currently it does change but I really love this makeup routine so I don't think I'll be changing it anytime soon maybe the eyeshadow but the face I will never be changing so yeah I hope you guys love it make sure to check out Frankie Rose and thank you Frankie Rose for sponsoring this video like I said this foundation is fire it's just everything all of this stuff is fire but the foundation really makes the base of everything and I love it so yeah, make sure to use my code and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Y'all will not just believe what I realized while watching the footage back. I did not cut crease this eye. Y'all see that? Like, sis, you 